going to do right now? Put a container. Where I live. Where our dad just going to turn some TV licenses. It's only a small container that fits in there. We've got a fire extinguisher. We'll check where the fire is. It's quite an apt protest, don't you think, officer? I don't even know what you're protesting about. I'm just asking he's not to do more, okay? Right, okay. Little ones just ensure that he wash the wash the obstruction. You can find what an obstruction is. So we can ensure that we don't um, get violent. Cheers, man. Let people come freely, man. I wasn't. I wasn't. Oh, come on, you must have seen the love police man, a bit of love. That's a Masonic handshake, sir. Do you expect this fun in games today, guys? <laughs> well, it's just the general um, annoyance at the BBC, man. The fact that it's, I don't know. Do you support the BBC? I don't support anyone. Oh no, no, I understand, but what I'm saying. Just asking. Well, I was protesting that the BBC, the, uh, the paedophile scams that have been covered up, the payouts, uh, it was like half a million that dude got. Um, the full works. Yeah, I mean, you must be aware of those sort of things. The extraordinary payouts that they've got. Uh, you want me to stick in camera or not? Good point. Good point. You, you're not a liaison to officer, though, so... They reported that Building 7 had failed 20 minutes before the event. They just stand there. Did you ever check that out? That's prior knowledge of the terrorists. Really, I don't know. No, I know, but there's just some things to think about, right? It's not exactly right. Again, man, think, you think, you think it's crazy or whatever you think, right? Now, during 9-11, whatever you think, all these crazy ideas are going, right? There's just one fact that they means. And you can check out uh, the BB, do you know how the, the, the third tower that fell down that day? Building 7. Um, Solomon Building. It was uh, reported on the BBC that it fell down. It, it collapsed. Like, uh, was it half an hour, 20, 20 minutes, minutes before the event? Half an hour, 20 minutes before it happened. And they came prior knowledge. So the theory is, whether, whether the theory is true or not, who knows, but the theory is that the BBC had prior knowledge. But that ah, your smile it, says it all, mate. You're not buying it, are you? No, no, no. It's just it's something to think about. That is a crime, sir. Do you know what happened as well? There was, there was a guy that was in court uh, through his TV licence, right? Um, he was refusing to pay it, so he ended up in court. And uh, in the court, what he actually ended up doing uh, was bringing in, like, uh, like experts. Uh, I'm going to murder this right, but you can go and check the details out, and I can't even remember the guy's name. It was down in England somewhere. They brought like uh, some professors and whatnot, and uh, what he was saying is he was refusing to pay his TV licence uh, because I can't remember the exact things he was saying, but basically, well, the first thing that the BBC put out a programme was called Conspiracy something. Conspiracy Roadshow, right? So they put out the Conspiracy Roadshow, and in the Conspiracy Roadshow, uh, the BBC put out something that went against numerous uh, laws of physics, right? This is simplifying it for you, right? So that guy was going to court where a physicist that was saying, well, look at the BBC said that uh, Newton's laws, Newton was wrong, so like, uh, he had that evidence. What happened 
Right, and these guys will know the technicalities of this thing. He didn't win his case, right? But what they done is they gave him the lowest possible fine. I think it was two fifty for his legal. Um, for his legal. He's in legal expenses or whatever. He didn't call it legal. Whatever. He had two fifty fine, and they could they they, they they it was down south, so it was a. I think it was down south. No sheriffs. So judges now. Uh, whatever they've got down south there, they've got the sheriffs. So you're not sure? I just think it's just like, it's justifiable. And they get just shut down and get quiet. These weren't supposed to be officers of the law. And you need, to, you need to wonder, like, why, like, and you know yourself, man, like, um, the, ju- the, 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 the judge ain't going to uh, f- find in favour for him because that said him going like, here, look, the BBC lied about all that. But what he'd done was make that case go away as quietly as he possibly could. And if you go and check it out and, you, like, I don't know, something to think about, you know yourself, why are, they, why, why are the sheriffs, the judges, trying to keep this stuff quiet? Just like the stuff that goes on in court when uh, Roger Hayes arrested the magistrate judge. I can't, you know, I can't even believe I can't believe the sheriffs in there. The magistrate court, he went in and uh, arrested the judge. Actually, we searched the law. Like, I, like, I, don't, I don't want to bore your tits with this band, but you can see those guys are up in common law and shit. Like, you, you swear in oath. Aye, and statutory law. Well, yeah. That should be your office. That's, 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 that should be when you're doing your office duties. See, policemen are good, okay, because they uphold the common law, but it's the officer part that everybody has a problem for, with. That's all your. Um, There's July. you. That's 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 but that's something to think about, like, do you not understand that when you talk about common law, that's you upholding your oath, the oath you swear, right? Do you not uphold in your oath, for instance, when you carry out the duties of um, enforcing fines, all the bull crap that everybody's really pissed off about? Theoretically, how the common law, simple terms, no harm, no foul, foul. Everybody could live underneath that, and then, like, even in the laws and legislation that would have to, you'd have to put in that would exist around that, you wouldn't have, like, the police state, you wouldn't have fines for no reason, you wouldn't have all the bull crap. I know you can't agree with me, but I'm just trying to get you things to think about, man. I don't know. You guys will know it yourselves. I know how pissed you are off with all the centralisation of yours. You, you, you see the corruption. Now, you are only going to have one master shortly. Where's the firewalls against the corruption? We all know corruption exists to a certain extent, man. I'm not saying all you guys are corrupt. Look, he's looked at me, he looked, he looked at me, like, oh no, he knows we're corrupt. But, <laughs> no, you know, no corrupption always exists in every institution. Would you agree with me on that? You're not debating anything. No, you're not debating. Just nod. Blink if you agree. <laughs> oh, he's still, ah, he agrees. <laughs> I do that one. The the great almighty. Can we get out in this fire? I'm going to burn some licenses. I want to warm my hands up. I bought some marshmallows, man.
I could have brought them threatening letters with me, but I forgot. <laughs> Days. Days. Can't you see this, mate? This is hard to do, mate. I just want to burn the licenses and shit, mate. Oh, good shit. Yeah, you see what I've seen here earlier on now. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get him in the camera. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> Struggling. See, the problem is we were all at George Square and bonfire night and now it's setting fires. <laughs> you ready? No, I'll be alright. I'm not even joking about where my hands are. Hi. Do you see licensee see you getting burnt? Good dog, such as you see. <laughs> the BBC has a royal charter um, that which makes them obliged to tell the fair and honest balanced news. They get grants for the EU, done and dusted, you do not have to pay your TV licence, full stop, man. Legally you do not have to pay it, so stop. Stop paying for your own mind control and statement. Me. Go and check out the royal charter that the BBC has with the Queen. They're meant, to give you, they're meant to give you unbalanced news and they take, get grants for the EU. How can you BBC then report on a fair and balanced discussion about the Britain joining the EU, leaving it, so on and so forth? They can't. They're in breach of trust. So that's a contract. They've broken their contract. So it's null and void. You do not need to do nothing. Pay them no money. They're scumbags. Yeah, yeah. BBC's controlled by nine governors. In the governors, it's handpicked by Her Majesty herself. That'll show you who runs the BBC. Bearing in mind, Her Majesty is just at a five million pound pay rise. Right? For, 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 for what? Listen, they can use uh, a lot. For not. And get out on Facebook, get out on the M A M S N Group 12. No, she's not. 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 She's She's claiming subsidies for us. Oh, and Prince, don't forget, Prince Charles now fucking yeah. picks up his pension. The big eared twat. Oh, but he's giving it to charity. How fucking nice of him. <laughs> Give me your million pound hat, you prick. <laughs> That's a sore point with me, you know. <laughs> what, the Royals? What? No, full day's pension, I'm not getting it. <laughs> well, ask Charles, he's going to dish his out. See, um, there's some real charity, man, instead of these bullcrap fucking foundations. <laughs> You need your lamish over there, okay? Just be aware there is miners here. Sorry, mate. Nah. I should one Take more. that and it turn, mate. Sorry. You're a miner, no you're. What's your sack for, miners? I think I've done a bit of hate speech there. There's people in that bunk! That's what you call false sanctimonious morality. Yes.